Hello everybody, this is Sparks Comics here. It's the weekend and that means it's time to look at the final order cutoff for Monday. Um, so that'll be on September 7th this week. And this final order cutoff will be for the non-DC titles. Um, I'm going to try to look at those in future weeks, but their final order cutoff was really early this week. And so I will not be covering the DC titles this week. And for those of you that don't know what Final Order Cutoff or FOC is, Final Order Cutoff is the date in which a uh, LCS local comic store or anybody can put in their orders for these particular comics. And so after that date, these comics should potentially not be available for order, especially if um, a book is very popular and it sells out. But let's go ahead and get started and we'll jump on in with Marvel Comics at first. So the first thing from Marvel Comics that I'm one really looking forward to, but two I think is very important in this final order cutoff is Amazing Spider-Man number 49, um, which is also legacy number 850. And so there's a lot of covers for this issue. Um, and usually that means something big is going to go down in this issue. Um, so with this one, obviously guard your wallet on it because there's so many different covers that are just um, cover price cover variants. And so we've got uh, a lot of different options here. The book is $9.99 and it does have some other backup, backup stories. Um, so some of the covers that I really want to pick up are on this screen. Um, the 1 in 25 in Huck Lee variant, the um, Mark Brooks variant, the Scotty Young variant. Obviously I'm going to pick up cover A as well with the 850 on it. Um, I may look at others that are on here because there's some really cool looking covers, but um, ultimately, I probably am going to have to limit it at, at those comics there. And if you've been reading the Sin Eater and Kindred, Kindred storyline, you know that this is going to be a big issue. And we know that the Green Goblin's coming back. So lots of good things to look forward to in this issue. Next up for Marvel is Fantastic Four number 24, um, which if you have been following what's been happening with the Fortnite Thor comic, apparently that's going to appear in this issue. Um, but something else to note is there are four Alex Ross cover variants, one for each of the members of the Fantastic Four. Then we have Giant Size X-Men Tribute. Um, and so this is not a reprint of Giant Size X-Men number one but rather a recreation of it by different artists and cre um, creators. So it's a little bit of their own take on the art for different parts of the story. So it could be pretty interesting to check out. Um, as far as, you know, being a long-term thing to, to speculate on, I wouldn't hold my breath on that. We also have the start of the Shang-Chi miniseries. It's going to be a five issue miniseries. Lots of different covers for this number one. Uh, Jen Bartel, in Huck Lee, Ron Lim. We got the cover A. There's several others, but those were my favorites. I'm probably not gonna pick this up because I uh, haven't really read a whole lot of Shang-Chi. So not for me but I think there's a lot of people that are going to be really excited about having this series come out. And one I'm really excited to see return uh, with another issue is Strange Academy number three. We've got Doyle on the cover. He is the son of Dormammu. And then we have Strange Academy number one, fourth printing. And so this looks like it's the Walmart exclusive cover but with a red background. I'm, I'm pretty excited about this uh, cover here though because that red background is really cool. And here's one I don't talk about too much, IDW Publishing. I've got two different series that I wanted to mention here. 
Um, so first up we have the Crow Leth has some second printings for issues one, two, and three, and these covers are all by Peach Momoko. So as Peach Momoko is pretty hot right now, if you're a fan of her art, go ahead and, and get that order in before the final order cutoff. And for the Turtle fans, here's this cool TMNT Best of Raphael. Um, I just really like this cover. I'm not a bit, I'm not a turtle collector, um, but this cover is really cool. So those that are fans of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, this is probably a good one for you to pick up. And speaking of companies I don't really talk about, Titan Comics. Um, I just have one comic from them that I, I'm actually going to be picking up, and that's Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm going with the Peach Momoko cover on this one. This is number th issue number three for the series. And then one of my more consistent non-Marvel companies that I'll get comics from, Image Comics, has a couple this week. Chu number three is in this week's final order cutoff. I'm not reading it, but I'm hearing really good things. Then we have the Department of Truth number one, and there's a lot of covers for this one also. Um, if you can get your hands on it, the 1 in 100 variant that is an homage to Something is Killing the Children is a really great one to go for. Um, but there's a lot of cool covers for this one. The story looks like it's going to be really good. Essentially, um, from what I've heard, it is uh, any conspiracy theory that you may have heard of is true. And there is this Department of Truth that is protecting that truth from coming out to the public. And here's a fun reprint for you. Ice Cream Man issue number 20, third printing, an homage to the Lorax. If you've seen my review of Inkbot, you probably know I'm really excited to see that Inkbot issue number one is getting a second printing. Um, it actually is going to be a cover art by Andy Kubert, who is the father of Emma Kubert, one of the co-creators of Inkbot. And finally from Image, this is just a personal pickup of mine that I'll have in my order, Sea of Stars number 7. And to wrap things up, we have two reprints from Boom Studios. First up, we have We Only Find Them When They're Dead number 1, and this is actually a third printing for this book that actually just came out this past week. And then we have Wind number one, third printing as well. Both books are great, so if you haven't gotten to read them, go ahead and check it out. So that concludes what I am looking to put in for my final order cutoff and other recommendations that I have for final order cutoff, even for the books that I'm not going to be ordering. Um, and so if you want the full list of what's on the final order cutoff, you can find that on the previews website. Uh, or if you just Google final order cutoff September 7th, 2020, you'll find it. You also, if you aren't ordering through a local comic store, if you search that, you'll probably find some online stores that you will be able to put your orders in through. If you like this video, please give it a like, drop a comment below, let me know what you'll be putting in and for your final order cutoff this week. Um, if you'd like to see me do more of these, let me know below. I'm planning on trying to do this more regularly with the final order cutoff. Probably drop final order cutoffs every Saturday or so, and then a preview for that current week's comics on that Monday. So please, if you haven't already, Give me a sub, uh, buttons right below, and turn on those notifications for when I drop videos, and like and comment on this video as well. Thank you guys for watching and listening to this, and I will catch you guys next time. <music>